somebody somewhere will tell you something about yourself that you didn't know. Somebody, even a young man, can tell you something about yourself you didn't know. Just to position mentoring a little bit more practically, very often people talk about mentoring and coaching. Coaching is very much about the role. So if you are a, a risk uh, manager or lawyer, you join this firm, coaching is much more about the role. As Tony uh, hinted at it, mentoring is much more about the person. If you are an entrepreneur, you started a business or you are halfway down the, uh, running your business, who was going to give you that encouragement when you've done a good job? Because it's a lonely place. People work for you. Who's going to give you a pat on the back? When you wake up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning thinking, oh my God, have I made the right decision to chuck up this job or mortgage my house to do? Who's going to give you that encouragement? Who's going to help you think about the options or the decision that you're, you're going to have uh, to make? But it's not just about that. It's also about sharing your experience as a mentor helping them through the risk, because we are in a risk environment here, helping them avoid some of the pitfalls. And if I want to give you a picture or metaphor about mentoring, for me it's like a mirror. You hold the mirror to the mentee, but it's a magical mirror. It's going to show them things they didn't know about themselves. And just to give you an example, of my, one of my favorite examples, I was working with a young lady, French as well, in a manufacturing uh, environment. Those of you who know manufacturing businesses, they're highly testosterone charged environment and a French woman on top of it. A year later, I asked Corinne, what's your biggest challenge? And she said, my biggest challenge is dealing with conflict. You know, having to deal with them, budgets, alignment, and all that stuff. When I asked her colleagues, people who worked around her, what's Corinne's greatest strength? Do you know what they said? Dealing with conflict. Dealing. What she thought was, and this is the element of the, what I would call the, the magical. It's about being honest with them and, and telling them. But it's not about judging. You never judge. You support. Um, perhaps more on a, on, on a serious note, why is mentoring important for, for businesses? Um, <clears throat> I've seen, being an old father, I've seen my own fair share of recession. But those of you who remember, in 1990, when I started business mentoring, I came across a very interesting phenomenon, which still happens today. It's called the post-recession bust. Businesses, lean businesses, very well run by good entrepreneurs, lean and mean, which survive the recession. Guess what happens when the economy goes up? When the econ they go straight to the wall. Because what happens with entrepreneurs? The answer is always yes. They take on more business. They don't have the capacity and sometimes the capability to carry on. They're still spending more money on supplies. They're having difficulty supplying their customers. What happens to the cash flow? Goes south. What happens to the bank? They close on them. And I honestly believe if, if we're looking for sustainable, and the, the recession will be over and there will be growth, a key practical aspect of mentoring is helping those businesses to grow sustainably. Let me finish uh, about, I hate this expression, what's in it for the mentor, because I honestly believe if you mentor, you should do it for the mentee and nothing else. That's really the frame of, time, frame of mind you should put yourself in. But having said that, you will always learn something through the mentoring experience. If there is one skill I believe that you'll never stop learning until you are six feet under, it's listening. Listening, I believe, is a core skill to communication because as leaders, we often, when we think communication, we think broadcast. Well, actually, the better leader, they listen. You listen with every square inch of your body, listen through asking questions, and it will make you a better leader. And if you are on the page, as Tony said, if you are on the page of leadership, which is to serve, to lead, to serve, to lead, then mentoring is probably the right uh, thing for you.